I'm sure everybody says, oh, I love the film, I love the film. Uh, did you love the no, film? No. Um, people say, I mean, they don't say it a lot to you. Really? They, no, you don't get much feedback. You don't get that sycophantic, well, oh my God, it was fabulous. <laughs> no. um, I, I think I probably have a, a golden compass meter where I can read the <laughs> right. truth, right? Um, but no, there seems to be a good reaction, yeah. Now, your character, Mrs. Coulter, is mm. clearly wicked. a villainess. Yes. She's wicked. Yes. First of all, do you enjoy playing that role? Yeah, why not? <laughs> yeah, because um, I enjoy playing all different roles, to be honest. I like to um, shake it up, not conform, try different things, um, and be adventurous. And so when this came along, I went, mm, okay, this looks kind of delicious. Sometimes you must do what others think best. <laughs> but I disagree, Master. <clears throat> Mrs. Coulter. When I was a young woman, I knew that no one could ever really truly understand me. Except, of course, my demon. And that it would be best if we were free to do as we pleased. Hmm? Sit down, gentlemen. Who's she? Don't know. But she shut up the master, all right. Is she wicked throughout? There's, there are times that you think, well, wait a minute, is she going to crack? Is this a different character? Is there another level there where she's... Is she well-meaning? Well, the beauty of this is that it's a trilogy. And I think that, you know, if we get to make the second and third film, which I would love, you get to see all of the layers peel away um, from this woman. So that's what I was trying to do in this film, is give her the... Um, the layers, so that you, so that there's a mystery there, and you're not quite sure, and you feel the different um, the textures of her. You strike me, and I know your body of work. You really research characters. You know the books. That's you would right. have known the controversy that you're recording when we talk about the anti-Catholic, anti-Church. Actually, I didn't. That? I mean, for me, um, I'd read the books, but you know that was years ago. And when I read the script, it wasn't something that was. Um, prevalent at all in the screenplay, which I think when you see the movie, you see that um, that it's that what this represents is extreme authority. Um, it's not anti-church, is what you're saying. I, I mean, I don't see it as that, but obviously it's up for interpretation. But I would be surprised if people actually saw the film and felt that. Perhaps this is something that they should just read, or watch it, be entertained, maybe ask some questions. Just well, I think, I mean, Philip it. Pullman speaks really well about sure. it. And I think when you're an actor in a piece, um, you have a certain understanding of it. But ultimately, the, people, the author has, I mean, he created it. It's his vision, it's his mind, it's his um, ideas. And you're really in this for the long run. I mean, you're excited about this as an actress, as a project that may stretch over three films. Well, I'm one of those people that doesn't like to count my chickens before they hatch, so... But I mean, but I mean just as a, pers hoping, a personal note, I'd be absolutely, I'd be thrilled. Because as an actress, when do you get, you know, five and a half, six hours of screen time to explore a character of this nature? That's just great. Great. <laughs>